And we got bananas in chat from Suzuku. Suz Shizuku 3158 Billman 68. Uh, Binny Yap. Matt Zatzarat. Oh, I just can't say names today, can I? I just can't say names. Let's keep going. Turbo Booster. A Zombie MC. Uh, An Anzi 1. BG Monster X1 Fan. Ready 05. BBD Games. And Soviet Shark 97. Lone Heart 01. BDN 96. A783. RTN 3. And Darth Annihilus. Thank you ever so much for the bananas in chat, peeps. Means that we're live on the twitch.tv slash the assumer on a Saturday morning after the announcement that season 6 Finity is ending. What? I thought it was going on forever. Jeez, it's ending. I can talk about it now. It's ending. It's over. No more season 6. Can you believe it? Time flies, right? Uh, SPTN125 is here resubscribed for two months saying, Okay, Asuma. Okay, Asuma. Whatever you say. Jeez. Thank you for your support, dude. I appreciate it. Um, I want to do some testing. Do you remember we were working on... Do you know what? I'm half wondering if we should go test somewhere else. Otherwise, we're kind of like constantly messing around with this thing. Uh, let's put that in there. Which it doesn't... Okay, hang on. What, what? <laughs> yeah, I remember this confusing me before. Um, let's take this thing. Got to replace it with a random block. And uh, we'll go somewhere else to set up a little testing area. Because these ghasts are going to cause us a problem. Let's take this thing. So we... Uh, here's the thing. I'll just go in range of our wireless crafting terminal. So I don't need to pick up that old thing down there. Hmm. We got noises in the air. Elmia is here resubscribing for three months. Elmia, thank you ever so much for three months of support. I appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the stream and having a good time hanging out with us. Do you know, it would probably be smart to just make a little uh, ender tank somewhere around here. And then with the ender tank, we can just move that liquid around nice and easy. Okay, so let's grab a couple of cauldrons. And then we can make a couple of these. Now, do we have green dye? That stuff can be used as green. I'm going to take these right here. Perfect. Not perfect. Now I've got to fly over there. Oh. Oh. We need to finish that off. Yes. Yes, we do. I uh, I don't foresee myself getting back into, into Britannia. At least we got a little bit further than last time I tried, right? Hey, trying to open this. There we go. Uh, we've got a noise in the ear from Cuplex, who's resubscribing for 35 months in a row. So close to three years. Indeed, Cuplex. Thank you have so much for 35 months of support. Appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying today's stream. We've got... Metal Iclum. Metal Iclum is here for three months. Thank you ever so much, dude. Appreciate your support. We also got Herminator for 12 months. That's a goldie face in chat. That's one year. Saying so 12 months. Can't wait for season seven. How did you know it was 12 months away? Has someone spilled the beans? Oh, no. Oh, someone must have spilled the beans. It was supposed to be a surprise. Oh. Well, oh, well, that's going to put a downer on things. Oh, jeez. Where did you find that out from? Oh, whatever. Whatever. What? I guess, you know, uh, I guess, I guess someone spilt the beans. Right, anyway. Anyway, let's not get too distracted here. We have liquid going down below, don't we? So it makes complete sense that that would connect to liquid. And it makes complete sense that it's immediately filled it up. Um, let's get rid of the extract mode. Let's also... Yeah, there's a problem. I didn't put a die on it yet. Okay, so we can get liquids. And do I have a power cell somewhere in here? Not a power cell. What's that thing called? We had that little other thing. <laughs> it was from Thermal, I believe. 
In fact, it might still be on the ground over here somewhere. No, no, it's not. Power cube, apparently, is what I'm looking for. Uh, Bob. No, was it Bob? Sorry, Darth Annihilus, Matrix Master. Thank you for the uh, suggestion. Doesn't appear to be a cube. No, power cube isn't even a thing. Oh, okay. When did he go to the Twilight Forest? Last stream, Cuplex. It was amazing. It was a proper crazy stream. Oh, man. Oh, by the way, I'm drinking some uh, Bovril. Hot Bovril. Oh, it's gorgeous. Mm. Energy cube. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, that is an energy cube. That's not what I was thinking of. I really want to know what the one I was thinking of is, but I've got one in my backpack. So if we just charge that up, you know, we'll save ourselves a headache. But we had a we had one from another mob, and I just just can't remember uh, mod. I just can't remember what it was. Do I have to configure this? Should be able to. Let's turn off extract. Wait, what was that on though? Power. That was on power. Oh, let's see. Input. Let's just set them all to green. There you go. Now it's filling up. Spectra coil flux points, says Cuparus. I don't think that was it. Energy cell, says Cuplex. Now, unless I'm spelling things wrong, energy... Oh, maybe that's my problem. There it is. That's the one. Energy cell. See, Cuplex always knows. So I should have... I mean, didn't we type cell in here already? So somewhere I've dropped off an energy cell and I don't know where it is. Is it hidden around the back here underneath something? Like I've left it somewhere and now I don't know where it is. Um, We do have one chest with stuff in it and it's not in there. I could take those, couldn't I? That'll do. <laughs> That'll do right there. Let's actually take one that's... Could have taken that as well. Didn't think of that. Oh, there's no power cable here. Or conduit. Okay, there you go. That one's charging up as well. We should have more than enough power now. So we've got some liquid. We've got some power. Now we need to go do some testing. I just don't want the gas shooting at me is the main thing. Ironically, I could build this where I want it to be while I test it, but that's probably not going to work out very well. Oh yeah, and I need to make the mob duplication chamber. Uh, we got a noise in here. It's Satanistic Angel here for three months saying, Hey, so I just wanted to say thank you for everything. I'm glad I can be a part of your amazing community. I found some really good friends here and your streams always cheer me up when I'm having a bad day. Also, your content inspires me. Much love. Thank you for the lovely message, Satanistic Angel. I'm very glad you've uh, found a home here in this wonderful community. Appreciate your support ever so much. We also got Yuri Phoenix here for six months. Ow, now I'm getting shot. Jeez, not a good time to be getting shot. Yuri Phoenix for six months saying, yay, three more months to the baby. Indeed. Thank you so much for your support, dude. Appreciate it. Hope you're uh, enjoying, enjoying this one. Now, we can make those. That's good. And that. Which means we can have one of those over here. Okay, I need that, don't I? Fill up that when we're ready. Where's the fellow who tried to shoot me, eh? Not you. The one that tried to shoot me. Okay, now I need some cobble. So we know the spawning area is going to be three by three like that. Uh, what I want to experiment with is having spikes and seeing if the spikes can damage them. I guess we we need like a window to look into this thing as well. Let's see. Um, so in the way of spikes, we might have to make some diamond ones again. Yeah, I've only got wooden ones left over. Ooh, that's not actually the one I thought it was. Player only drops. Hmm. I'm going to go with these. I'm just going to stick to this, what we've done before. So we get four. We need, we need nine. 
three, one, two, three, one, two, barely enough room in here. Whoopsie, I can actually go back into storage, can't it? Quite a few bits here. Oh, by the way, this thing isn't going to be useful. I read up on the gas trap and it's just not going to work in the environment we're in. You have to fight the, um, the big boss to use it, so it's entirely pointless to us. Okay, so I want to find out if when they're spawning in the space just below here, if it's going to hurt them or not. So we're going to set this up so we've got a little looky in window just over here. One, two, and then, hmm. I'm going to have to mess about a bit to figure this out. So let's say we have that there. We need to show the working area when we have a range of one. Yeah, so that's right above the spikes right there. So we also need to block off everything up here from uh, having things spawn in it. We also want to have some conduits, which are now in here. <laughs> right, where are we at? Sorry, just got distracted reading chat there for a second. Not items, we want liquids and power. Is there some other essential thing I've forgotten about here? Probably. One, two, buckle my shoe. Okay, so on one side we're going to put the ender tank. Need to give it that green stuff. And then we got to set that to extract, but not insert. And then down here it should have insert enabled. Good stuff. Power on the other hand can go over on this side. And it should move the power through. Which it's not doing. That's probably because of the way this thing's configured. Okay, it's got its essence. It's got its energy in there. So let's block off more of the spawning space. Don't want anything spawning over here. Okay, now they'll be able to spawn in that too high gap down below, and we can look at them from here. Notice how it's facing my base. If they shoot at me, it shoots towards my base. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Well done, me. You know, great idea. Dark Wolf says, do you have extra utilities installed? I believe we do. Hmm. Oh man, there's some good bovril drink right here. Is it frozen then, says AOL Dude? I mean, it might look frozen because I'm not moving. Right, um, I guess we're good to go. So from here, I can access the block and throw in the mob that we're trying to uh, duplicate. Right, one spawned and it didn't get damaged by the spikes. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I've got a second test idea. You know, I'm also getting probably more gas tears than I'm ever going to use at the same time, which is kind of funny. Uh, next up, I thought we'd try some Victor Vactors. We've got some of these to hand. Let's get into this space. Okay, got to fill in the bottom. And then place the plates, which is going to be a pain in the bum, I reckon. Yep, because it'll do that. Ugh! So difficult. Oh, oh. Okay, one more to place. Right, so that'll push them forward if they come down to that level, right? Is the idea. Uh, it does, and it makes them freak out. Yeah, and it's actually there. Is there a few of them? Let's have a look. Are we out of power yet? We're not. Okay, so this isn't going to look very pleasant, which is kind of annoying. Now, what happens when we put spikes here? 
So we spawn them in that space and we push them into spikes is the idea. Huh. That actually doesn't work. And I can't shoot through that gap because it's not there. Okay, well, how about some suggestions, peeps? By the way, we got Robbie Games 939 resubscribe for two months. Robbie, thank you ever so much for your support, dude. Appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Silent Mad says the spikes would need to be one forward. Use the mob grinder from Thermal Expansion. Hmm. Uh, now you got me thinking. Okay, so mob grinder. That is from Draconic Evolution, so we won't... Uh, we can actually make that. But I can't remember how it works. However, we were using Industrial Foregoing. And I'm pretty sure this has a block for attacking... Because it's got the mob duplicator, right? And I think it's got a block for attacking mobs, but it does it in a region as opposed to being next to it, which is probably what we should have tried to begin with. Black Hole Controller. Mob Crusher, people are saying. Mob Crusher is the name of it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So if I open this thing up, we're probably going to need a range add-on, right? And if it works the same way as the other one, it will probably be the same type. So we need an Iron Sword. And hopefully we've got everything else to hand. Nope. Well, those, those are nice and easy to make. We can make two books. And that's all we need, right? No, we need the cogs. Also, it got rid of my iron sword because it took it from my inventory the first time, right? And then it gets just deleted. So that explains the mysterious disappearance of that. Okay, I think... Did I take the thing out? I did. Hmm. Okay, um, so this time we're going to take out our Victor Vectors and we're going to put this thing down here facing into this room. Or not. Is it facing the other way? It feels like it's facing the other way. Okay, so we need this thing to show its working area, which is there. Yep, so we do need the range add-on. Uh, which we have to craft. Uh, give it plus 12 and have a nice spawning area, says Mr. Mike. So, from what I've seen, restricting the spawning area doesn't appear to really affect the rates. So, we could make a room that's a little bit bigger to look at. But I think I, I want to go with something small in this project. So, we're going to go with uh, that range update. Oh, are we out of plastic? Yikes. Because this old setup hasn't been moved to a new location. We're, we're going to go put it in our current one, I guess. Uh, this thing needs power as well. Let's go grab that capacitor bank. Because we can sort of hobjob keep it online for a moment. Hobjob, is that what they say? It doesn't sound right. I'll just put that there. This thing can continue to get power. And all we got to do is put a stack of wood in there. Uh, I guess it can take the dark oak for now. Oh, look at that. We were making a range add on in here. Right, I do not remember how you use these. Oh, like that, okay. So, I'll chuck a bunch up there. Make what we can, which is apparently 15 of them. And then I think you smelt this. Yes. So, into the smeltery it goes. Cool, I've also accumulated some things. Yeah, the gas trap will probably end up just being like a display block. We're going to have to make a trophy room soon. Okay, so in goes that. And then this thing, in theory, I believe there used to be <laughs> something around here else that did something. I don't know what that is. Actually, no, it appears to be... Right, the thing that's missing is the water source. So we need a sink. Let's make our range add on. Before I forget. In fact, let's not get too distracted. That thing just needs a sink. Let's continue with what we're doing over here. Okay, so we chuck the range add-on in. 
and now it looks like it even goes a little bit higher so we'll be able to create uh, do you know what nothing's actually going to spawn in that space because that block is kind of getting in the way um, does this go one block lower it doesn't so really that's all we need that two by three area is what we might make visible I'm not entirely sure Okay, but now we then need this thing to attack it. And I don't know how it attacks it. I don't know if you can give it a weapon. Peeps, let me know. What can I do with this? Are there other add-ons? Like, this is industrial foregoing. There are other types of add-on. Uh, fluid, fluid, fortune. Fortune, we want looting. Energy field, wow. Fortune add-on says Lord this. Will that actually help? I don't feel like making pink slime to be fair. It might actually be easy though, I don't know. Let's finish this drink already. It just gives it just insta kills it says Arc Light Silver. Okay. It will fill up with sludge however. Hmm. Well, we can build a sludge tank. Okay, so we have the uh, the components up here. We need the conduits and get the power and all that stuff down there. How much does this? Oh, how much does this thing store? Oh, it's only used a little bit so far. That's good. Um, I don't think anything's going to spawn up here, is it? Especially if there's conduits in the way. Okay, just enough of them to do a little test here, really. Now, for some reason... Actually, I know exactly why that didn't connect. It's because this has already got liquid in, and I don't know if there's a way to force it to accept. But essentially, I'm just going to have to replace... Like that, and do this again. Now, what's slightly alarming, how is that low? It's got a green on the left-hand side. This thing had green on the left, right? Oh. Apparently, I've decided to pick it up. There we go. Problem solved. So, this thing now has power, and it has fluid essence, and I don't know if I need to give it anything else. So... Let's activate and find out what's happening. I heard it kill something. Now, where's this sludge that I've heard of? Because sludge is a liquid and we've got no other visible thing. Hey, this is this is pretty much doing what I want it to do right here. And it picks up some XP as well. That's good to know. Now, this thing just stopped. Any reason why? Hopefully it will, it's just, yeah, there you go. It's just taking its time. Okay then, and we're not getting attacked. So that appears to be what we can create in our base. It produces essence only, apparently. Well, we've got fluid essence in there. Does that mean, wait, did I not actually need to fill it with fluid essence? It produces essence when it's full. Well, it is full right now. Anyway, we're getting drops, and what I want to do is give this a home in this area. You know this original sort of shape we put for this room? I think I might abandon it to some extent and go with something a bit different as we build this up. Now, where do we want to put this little gas killing chamber? I actually think it might be kind of cool to put it nearby this, or possibly in this little space. We need to think about what it's going to look like from the front. So, I don't think it needs darkness to spawn the ghasts. So, let's say we go with a glass. Well, let's start with the glass room at the bottom, the killing floor. So, if I were to reach into here. Uh, we haven't used that texture yet. And to put it in as the floor, I don't really think it would mean too much. Let's grab some of our metals that we use a lot. I think maybe a texture from factory blocks could be the killing floor. 
might use a little bit of that since it's similar to this little viewing area. And then we need our glass, of course. Uh, we got a noise in the ear. It's Syntax Error 37 for 36 months saying, Whoa, how the time has flown by. Yes, indeed, it has flown by. And thank you so much for your continued support over that time. Yeah, flying by is certainly what it does. Okay, we don't need these things. Uh, that one there, just trying to clean up the inventory for a moment. And now we've got two textures. That would probably make a good killing floor. Or, or actually that. I think I might go with that one. Or maybe the orange and white. Nah, we'll go with the yellow and black. Then the glass. Now what here is going to look good? Probably that, I think. Probably that one. So let's start to build up a little bit of structure. We're working with a 5x5 five five space. Over here we have 1, 2, 3, like that. We've literally got the space right here. Although I'll point out that it could technically go in that little space. Uh, now nah, I'd have to wiggle too much stuff around. Okay, I think what I want to do here is turn that into one of these grills, right? Like we do on occasion to break it up. Where is our scaffolding? We've only got a little bit more as it goes. And over here we've got our scaffolding. Excellent. Let's make a bunch more of that, please. And then turn it into the next type. Which is going to go right alongside this area. What version is this, says Ready? This is Enigmatica 2 we're playing. It's a mod pack. There you go. We'll put in the rest of our rails later on, I guess. Um, so then we're going to have a window here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now that is actually a little bit heavier than I would have liked. Sorry, gone. No silk touch over here. So maybe that one works a little bit better. Ornate I don't think works. Maybe that one. That's actually probably a really nice option. Let's try that. Yeah, that's more of the look that I'm going for here. It's a little bit on the purple side, but that's fine. Now I feel like that's going to low down, so let's go ahead and actually make it a little higher up. So that's the window where the gas gets killed. Noise. And you can see it from these three sides. Which I think looks good. Now what I could do is make it like this material again. What do you think, peeps? Might actually be smarter to do that with that material. Just so it's a little bit more uniform with what's around it. Frag B says X, there is a block called Lava Stone and it will look good in this area. I've seen Lava Stone. I don't know, we've got, we haven't got any stone in this area, have we? We've gone for metal, so I think I might stick to that. Okay, so we've got our other mob killing chamber. Yeah, that does look a little bit better, I think. Uh, Dark Wolf 22 is here with cheers and bits, saying, I want to say I'm proud of you for learning modded so well. Thank you ever so much, dude. Some people might argue I haven't learned a thing. Jeez, I mean, I didn't learn that for Tanya, but yeah. Thank you. No, we definitely we definitely got way back into the, uh, the modded, that's for sure. And uh, thank you so much for your cheers and bits. I appreciate your support. We also got one ping only, please, for 18 months. Two Twitch babies right there. Thank you ever so much for your continued support. It is appreciated. Hope you're uh, enjoying today's stream, a morning, a Saturday morning stream, you know. So down at this level, I wanted to put in a different material for the floor, right? I think I said we were going to go with this. And I kind of was thinking it would come over to the edge. Now that's going to look sort of reasonable actually. 
That looks very reasonable to me. The only thing was I was thinking of dragging the texture downwards, but that's probably not going to look so good. And now you're dead. Actually, it's kind of what we did there, right? Doesn't mean we have to do the same thing over and over again. So this comes down here into the water. Jeez, slow mining underwater. And I guess that texture would go back over there for uh, continuity's sake. And that's where our killing machine is. Looks pretty good to me. Looks pretty damn good. Helps tie things together well. And then there's just going to be a bunch of gas getting killed in here. Now like we did over there where we got this lip. Let's go to a darker material for this next bit. We actually want to fill in this space right here, don't we? So it can actually be a smaller little cylindrical thing going upwards. Right. This means it's time to uh, grab that down there. And now that I've got that, let's get rid of all of this. Cool. And we'll take that. Uh, Pez Destroyer says, let's just take the chatting with friends and family out of here. Ah, dude. That doesn't sound very good. Uh, Satanistic Angel says, I just love the trophy on your head. It looks amazing. It's cool, isn't it? Pez Destroyer says, yeah, I'm going to leave. I'm sorry you read that. You don't have to leave. I just... I'm just gutted to hear that, you know. You're welcome to stay here. Of course. I wasn't uh, I wasn't having a go. I was just, I, you know, sad to hear that. Let's see. Um, so we need a wall down the back here. And we'll probably use a conduit facade to link up some of the things together again, just like we did a moment ago. Now we need to put our range add-on in here and then get it to show us that so we can remind ourselves that this needs to be filled in uh, all the way like so. Oh! Wait, where did I put this thing? Right, no, that makes a lot of sense. I did that wrong. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It's supposed to be level with the ceiling there, and I've put it one block higher. So it's supposed to be here. And we're going to fill all of that in on the inside. Yep, that makes total sense. And then our mob farming machine comes over here. I need to get pretty much all of this back. We'll also do an experiment and see if it actually needed that essence going into it. Because I wasn't entirely sure. Can you place the ghast on your head on the ground, says Lego Tomb. We probably will when we get to building a trophy room. That's one of the things I want to do here. Hello. We really need to light this place up. Remember, we're still doing this project from like three streams ago, essentially. Like, this is just further down the rabbit hole. We needed this thing, we needed that thing. Some of these, some of those, you know. At least we've got loads of gas tiers now, as well as other things. Okay, I believe our range add-on fell out of this thing. And now our next range add-on goes over here. Ah, oh, placed it the wrong way. Range add on, there we go. So, what texture do I want to put back here? I think I'm going to go with this one actually. That will probably make the most sense to me. Okay, and then in this space here, we want both power. Now, what I could do is I could use some conduits here just to make things a little bit more compact. Uh, when I say conduits, I mean. You'll, you'll see what I mean. Facades, that's it, facade. Here we go. 
Yeah, just two of those for that one block. Do you remember all the painting we did in here before? It was crazy, I tell you. How do I get these pointy things? I want the derp emote so bad, says Cat Dragon. Well, subscribers get access to the derp emote. There are ways to get it now with Twitch by watching, but uh, I mean, I think you just gotta watch and then you unlock something. And you know, I don't know. I just I just stream. I don't actually use Twitch. <laughs> so they send us an email like, "Hey, there's this new feature," and I'm like, "Cool." Hey, uh, Echo Wolf says it's nearly 9:30 a.m. for X in the UK. That is true. That is absolutely true. It's 9:24. I got up at six, did a workout, had some breakfast, and the rest of the day I'm going to be on my feet. It looks like. Okay. Um, so now we can connect. Now I did say I would try not to use the fluid in the bottom one as an experiment. So we're not going to put that one in first. Actually, I will put it in because it makes connecting things again a pain. But we'll leave... We'll, we'll turn off insert for now. And over here we're going to do that. Okay, so this now needs two things connected to it. This is going to fit very snugly into here. So when it comes to energy, we go into these three spots. So we accept energy here and we accept energy there. Uh, this allows us to put the two other blocks that we need. Oh yeah, actually, the other block is just temporary. Temporarily lily. Let's go get our power cells. And then we need a power card thing. There it is. One and two. Now, can I remember how I did this before? That is a very important question. So I'm going to pinch this little spot here. And take my power cell. <clears throat> okay, I need to configure the bottom side, so I need a tool now. Jeez, always needing some sort of something or other to do the other thing. Okay, that is clearly input as power is going into it. So, I think what we do is that. Or that, perhaps. No. Link ID 13. Link ID 13. Excellent. We're figuring it out, peeps. We're figuring it out. I'm going to put that there so you can actually see it from inside this place. Okay, so this will become output. And this card will go into there. And we're linking through power. Excellent. And now it's probably filling up both of these, which it is doing. Beautiful. The next thing we need is our ender tank to move things from one side over there to over here. That's simply going to go there. And there isn't a connection, right? Hmm. What happened there, then? Oh, there is a connection. Okay. We want it to extract. Always active. So now, we should not be getting fluid essence in here, but we are at the top. Good stuff. Okay, I'm going to put in our mob imprisonment tool, and it's going to start spawning and getting killed. And now we get to see what's going on here. Ah, look at that. So if we turn that onto extract mode, it could essentially help power the one up there. I don't think you can really set up priorities with conduits, but now we're saying that liquid can go um, out and into the other machine. So hopefully it starts to use some of that back into here, and we use less from the other system. Look at that. That's it. It's just going to sit there doing that all the time now. You know, it's going to be very annoying. You're going to look over there and be like, oh, geez, the sound of gas dying. That's not what I wanted this morning. X. Extract on the mob Granger to the mob duplicate ER of your essence. I think, Dark Wolf, that is what we have done, right? Now, I'm seeing something here, right? My eyes are seeing things. My eyeballs, okay, are happening. They're happening, peeps. Like, what do you think to this? We've got all this big space up the top, and we've got all this industrial equipment. Right, maybe that just ties up like that. We have this big chunk of metal, and oh, actually, it connects to this area. It almost makes it feels like the essence from over here is uh, is sort of connected to that in some way. I think that looks really good. We have to connect more of the material together for it to make sense in the long run, you know. But so far, I'd say it looks good. Right, 
bring that across. Do I have any janky cobblestone? I'm going to put janky cobblestone in the middle. No one will ever know, peeps. It'll be our secret. No one will ever know. I should probably, uh, you know, have this thing available right about now. Might be helpful, you know. Build a little bit faster with it. Something like that. Oh, but now I can make mistakes. And now I won't make mistakes. And I've only got one block left. Boohoo. And we've got a noise in the air. Woohoo. <laughs> Boohoo woohoo. We've got a noise in the air. It's Pessy Goldson here. With a donation saying, just because I can for once, get yourself a treat on me. Well, thank you very much, my friend. I appreciate your uh, donation, your support to the channel. I will possibly treat myself. Let's see. See, I treated myself yesterday a little bit. I uh, once, about once a week, I have a bit of a, a bit of a cheat email. You could call it that. You could call it a cheat email. It was just uh, a pizza from Asda, um, and they're they're really nice. They're like uh, a bit more like homemade pizza. You know, on the spectrum of healthiness, when it comes to pizza, you've got like homemade on the healthy side. And then you got like your takeaway pizza on the unhealthy side where it's all super greasy and oily and that stuff ain't so great. And Asda's, Asda's kind of like closer towards having a home pizza, but it's nothing like those big fat greasy ones you get from uh, your takeaway places. Anyway, I had that yesterday and, okay, I heard about this thing called a halo top or a halo top. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. Right, it's like a tub of ice cream except it's only 320 calories. And if you know your calories, eating a tub of ice cream is usually well over a thousand. Like Ben and Jerry's or whatever, you know. You're punishing yourself if you eat a whole tub. This stuff, though, only 320 and 20 grams of protein. Now, I don't know how much, how, what quality that protein is. But, I mean, if you're looking to get protein in your body, that's, that's a pretty good ratio right there. And I had the peanut butter cup flavor, okay. And i got to say absolutely perfect right like i'm not a big fan of pizza because it's all sh sorry ice cream because it's all sugary and you know kind of gets you all like i don't have a lot of sugar in my diet so when i have when i have um it's not the right type is it i think i need to cut some more from the steel sheet metal let's grab that and go get that done so when I have like sugary foods, if I have too much, I can really feel it. It like makes you know me feel a bit woozy. All that sugar rushing through your system, sending out all that insulin. This stuff didn't give me that feeling at all, which is good. I mean, I didn't investigate the sugar content of it, but the fact that it's low in calories suggests that perhaps the way they've done the flavoring means it's uh, it's not so sugar heavy, but man, the flavor was spot on. I absolutely loved it. It was like a Reese's Pieces chocolate cup. And the whole tub was 320 calories. I just couldn't believe it. Um, now, if you're if you're a regular ice cream eater and you switch from that to this, it might not be the same. But as someone who doesn't have a lot of sugary stuff, it was certainly... Oh, it's that block there, isn't it? It was certainly an indulgence. And I very much enjoyed it. Very much enjoyed it. And we'll do it again. Next time I want to have some with pancakes. I have ice cream only three or four times at summer, says Reddy. Yeah, I have a, I have the occasional ice lolly, but I tell you what, the best place to have ice cream is when you're in Italy. Man, the gelato over there that I had, it was sensational. Like, you know, having a lolly out of the fridge, freezer at the shop, or even buying a tub of stuff over here, it's pretty, like, standard and not that great. I'm sure if you have something like Ben and Jerry's, it's probably a little bit nicer, right? But when you go over to uh, to Italy and you have gelato, I mean, you can't even like it's it's another league of ice cream. I had I had one thinking when I was over there in Rome, I was thinking, yeah, I'm not gonna have like ice cream every day. Jeez, that's that's not good. But I ate it, and then I was like, this is sensational. This is like proper fresh. Beautifully tasting ice cream. I mean, I just went for it and had some every day. Maybe even twice. I was only there for, you know, five days or something. So, made the most of it. What's your opinion on light slash zero beverages, says Alex and Brassi. Um, I... I don't know specifically to what you're speaking of, but you should really like... 
check out the contents of what it is you're drinking. For example, some people think Diet Coke is a good idea if you want to be on a diet. It's almost terrible because if you're if you're getting into diet and thinking, hey, I eat all this naff stuff, and you know, I'll start with having some uh, some Diet Coke. Well, if you have Diet Coke and a lot of sugar, you're sort of slowly training your body to be ineffective at dealing with sugar, because the sweeteners trick your body into thinking um, that you're getting sugar coming into your system, and then when it realizes there isn't sugar, it becomes a little bit ineffective. So. You know, one way to put yourself on the track for diabetes faster is to have lots of Diet Coke in a sugary diet. Like, there's all little nuances and things like that that you just might not think of. So when a product says it's light, it's this and that, you've got to think it through a little bit. For example, I have these um, protein candy bars, right? Luckily, I found one that seems to be uh, pretty good. It's made with rolled oats. It's one of the cheap ones as well. Whereas the other ones, are, you know, they're pretty much chocolate candy bars, right? There's no getting around that. Um, but it can be easy to look at them like, yeah, protein, you know, build muscle and all this. Whereas you're still having a candy bar. You're still having a candy bar, right? Like, there's no getting around it. Um, it might have a little bit less calories than other ones. It might have more, um, it might have more protein in than it does have carbohydrates. But you're still eating, you know, good old chalky bar. So... When it comes to those zero drinks or whatever, I, I don't know specifically what to say on it. Um, but yeah, that's the way I would think about it. Actually look what's in it and how many calories it has and try and learn a little bit about it. Did we put anything in to pick up the items? <laughs> oh no, wait, this machine over here does it, doesn't it? Oh yeah, so now we need like another system. Right, let's go find our... Oh, by the way, I want to make an adjustment to something over here now this stuff doesn't need silk ah it does need silk touch <laughs> yeah I want to actually uh, stop using this I think I'm just gonna get the whole system running off a of gunpowder especially now that we've got another source of it okay so I'm gonna take that out of there to begin with I'm gonna disable the end of chest at the other end let's see if we've got any more gold glass or whatever it's called oh look at me Glowing glass, aren't we lucky? We can fix that. Okay, so back into here. Conduits. Uh, don't put that in. Cobbles, slabs. Yeah. Oh, and that. Right, noises in the ear. We've got Sven on Twitch. Doing cheers for throwing bits. Sven on Twitch. Thank you ever so much. Um, for... For your cheers and bits. I appreciate the support. Cat Dragon says I'm a carnivore that also likes sugar. Having a balanced diet is really hard for me. If you're going to do the carnivore diet and also eat sugar, that doesn't sound particularly great. Um, I'm not a fan of the carnivore diet. It kind of sounds a little bit rebellious, the way some people talk about it. I'm not suggesting that you're one of those people. Just That kind of puts me off the diet a little bit. Some, some people that I've seen talking about it, they sound like it's a kind of like anti-vegan thing or something, right? Like, I'm going to do the opposite thing. Okay, let's turn this to never be active for now, so we're not going to put more sugar in there. Uh, that that side of it I don't like. What I have what I have heard is it sounds like people who have um, certain sort of digestive problems with food, food upsetting the stomach, having a lot of uh, issues going to the toilet, that you try all these different diets, maybe the carnivore helps you, right? The carnivore diet could be the one that works for you. In that case, totally for it, but... You know, I think the average person just needs to get a good mix of non-processed foods in there. Eat your fresh fruit, eat your fresh vegetables, have some wholesome food. Avoid the stuff in boxes, you know. Avoid the fast food. You're going to have it on occasion, but uh, the healthy diet is balanced. And I think, I think having a bit of meat in your diet is good, but don't go crazy. You don't have to eat meat every day, it would seem. And there's obviously a whole bunch of reasons why eating meat can seem cruel or can be bad for the planet. I don't know why, but people who eat meat think that a vegetarian diet will not give them enough protein. Uh, as someone who eats a lot of protein, you can get it from a whole bunch of different sources. Um, 
I have found some nutritional information on if, you know, because not all protein is flat and level, right? And it seems like eggs is probably the best source of protein you can get in terms of, you know, how your body uses it or how, how good it is, right? Apparently eggs are a really, really great source. Um, you can totally get by on a vegetarian diet without, unless you're like a bodybuilder or you need lots of protein, you don't really need to worry about that. Like... And if you are a bodybuilder, you can get loads of protein from uh, veggie sources. It ain't difficult at all. You also got whey as well, which you can use. I have had an iron deficiency for as long, for a long time. Pills didn't work. Iron-rich vegetables didn't work. I started eating red meat again after being vegetarian for ages, and my blood levels are normal again. And pure carnivore diet, but a healthy addition. Says Kaiki. You should still have vegetables, even if you're short on iron. It's funny when I was first reading your. Um, your uh, sentence there, I was thinking, well, yeah, you don't get iron from uh, from vegetables, right? You get it from meat, I thought. You get it. Look, everything's got a little bit of everything in it. Some things have got more than others. There's, like, old myths about, like, calcium and milk, right? Whereas you've got more calcium in a slice of orange than you do in a pint of milk. It's, it's, all, it's all this and that, and ugh, information's all over the place on it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just talking about food. I'm just talking about food. I need an ender chest. That's it. I just needed an ender chest. Let's get back on track here. Challenge says, my mum was a bodybuilder and she would have six raw eggs in the middle of a workout. I've never done raw eggs. And six might... See, there's so much information out there. Apparently, there's like a limit to how much protein you can ingest in a single meal, which is around 35 to 40 grams. Which is what I aim for with every meal I eat. Um, easy there. I don't know how much time you have to have between meals, but I, I never eat mid-workout. I know some people do do that. I just, just think I'd rather focus on the workout and putting food into your body like mid-workout. I don't know. Like I like to have at least an hour after I've eaten before I work out, so my stomach settles. Frag says, two eggs a day is fine. That's actually what I aim for. I try and aim to have a couple of eggs every day. Um, I mean, eggs are incredibly nutritious for the protein, vitamins, and nutrients. That You know, they make a little life, don't they? They make little chickens, you know? So they're full of good stuff. Full of uh, life-building bits. Right, oh my god, I'm such, such distracted. As soon as we started talking about something else, I'm just unable to focus. Um, so Master Input is... Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, what does this mean? Hang on. Oh, we're just going to get deep distracted now. I've got a feeling... I've got a feeling that these are not connected. Oh, dearie me. We never connected them. Yikes. That would then probably mean that... Well, these aren't full. That's interesting. So maybe... I don't know what the system's doing if they're not full and it's backed up. I don't know. Hang on. There we go. Spruce trim is what we're after. Let's see what happens once we put some trim on this. Uh, Matsubu is here. He's subscribing for 14 months. We've also got Hakon 422556 for 12 months. Goldie face in chat right there. One year. That is incredible. Thank you so much. We also have MRNS92 and... May Keys, subscribing with the Amazon Prime. I apologise for being a little bit late on reading those. Jeez, look at me. Having a bit of a waffle over here, aren't I? Thank you ever so much for your support, peeps. As always, it is. Appreciate. Appreciate. Frag says, I only eat two boiled eggs before my cricket class in the morning, and it gives me more than sufficient energy for three hours. Yeah, I can imagine that. Energy's, energy's interesting in the body. Like, I find some days I just have more energy. Uh, by the way, yesterday, I, in the morning, have, I have a little bit more time now for the next few days before Season 7 starts a year from now. <laughs> I, have a, I have a little bit more time at the moment. Uh, now that all the craziness of redecorating is done and all that stuff. And all these other jobs I had to do. And so yesterday morning, I was like, I'm going to go for a long walk. And I decided to try and walk 10k steps in one go. And I did it. An hour and 20 minutes, 10k steps. 
And I had the energy for that. And I know on different days I wouldn't have. I know on a different day I would have really suffered. Okay, I think maybe every item it's now putting in is basically going into previous slots. But it was probably telling this stuff that it was full. It's also reminded me that we need to create upgrades and probably do a little bit of maintenance in here again. Oh, I still haven't finished the other project outside, so we'll come back to that. Anyway, we were trying to create an ender chest. And then we were trying to find out what color it was. So surely I created the ender chest already, right? If I went and put it down, I probably put it in the place already, didn't I? So master input can be triple gray, although that's mob farm. Uh, what we got here? Export, so that's sending bones outwards. I think that's our master input, is triple grey. Unless I wanted to use something different. What does that one do? No filter on it. Oh, I guess it takes and puts in. Because I know we've got a solidified experience box over here. Yeah, look at that. And um, maybe this is actually master input? Is that an upgrade? It's a hardened server. I think this is master input. Triple black. Or maybe that is like our backpack one. I'm going to go with triple grey. No, no. I'm going to go with triple black. Let's do that. Also, that'll be easier to die. Now, one, two, three. Oh, we only had three left. Incredible. Off we go. Hey, X, just curious. A lot of hermits are making Hermitcraft finales. How long will it take until the new season starts? One year <laughs> is my troll answer. Soon TM is my Twitter answer. I don't know what my streaming answer is yet. I haven't figured that one out. Now, we haven't hooked this up to anything. Yeah, I did have a feeling I came over here. So that's fine. Uh, if we go in here and get a conduit, we shall be able to connect this up. Anyway, we started talking about energy in the body. Like, depending on what I've done for the day, sometimes when I fast in the morning and I have an active morning, I can feel my energy subside pretty quick. Sometimes it holds on for quite a while, you know. It, uh, it kind of changes. It comes and goes a bit. Right, there we go. It won't be fast, but uh, it will be faster than killing the mobs, probably. And it looks like most of the essence is going straight back into the machine, which is fantastic. So the other thing we probably want in here is a muffler. And yeah, and after I eat as well, I can really feel that energy come back into my body, especially after a fast. So, um, it's that one there, isn't it, that we want? Make one of those. No? Oh, this happened before, didn't it? This happened before. Cat Dragon says, try beans and corn. You still get protein, but no meat. Yes, also research the quality of the proteins, because I, I mean, I, I haven't done that so much because I, I have meat. Um, and what I hear is if you're eating meat, then you know, meat plus, like the way the way I understood it is that proteins, there's like nine different types of them and then there's subtypes of those. And you need multiple groupings of those proteins in order to be able to use protein effectively in your body to build muscle or repair. Like, like protein is like the currency of repairing and building to some extent so if you eat certain types of protein you don't get all of the different types of amino acids and with meat you do um danny says danny says that's all marginal it could be marginal it's very difficult to put it all together all this information there's tons of it out there and when people talk about stuff like it's always got so much nuance around it it's always in relation to something else or your specific needs like um Danny says, just work out and eat a decent amount of protein and you're fine. Well, that's what I do and it seems to work for me. Um, Luke De Beer says, yeah, you need all types of proteins, but some food have so-called complete proteins. Yes. For example, meat is complete protein. Um, I don't know if what I think whey is mostly, but there will be some forms of protein that won't be complete. And those ones are probably more likely in vegetables and stuff. But a combination of things, you might get it. I don't know. I don't know the specifics. If you want to look this stuff up, you know, you can do. Um, but what I, I, you know, I found something that works for me, which is I have lots of protein from various sources, and then I also get some from meat as well. Tim says I squat 180 kilograms. Jeez, 
I uh, I only squat like 25. I um I have. I don't really want to like lift heavy. I just I lift smart. I like high reps, lots of volume from low amounts. I also have um like dodgy dodgy knees. I think maybe I don't know. Like as soon as I put sleeves on my knees, I've never had knee pains since. Um, I've really like focused on strengthening them. Apparently, way is complete, says Attila de Pan. Okay, cool. Yeah, that makes sense because obviously it's such a used and like you know, uh, yeah, you know, like it's it's the one that people go to for a reason, right? Right. I need uh, rice gives a ton of proteins. In my culture, we nearly eat rice every day, says Frag. Nope, that's I know that's wrong for a fact. <laughs> Rice is low on proteins. Rice is carbohydrates, big time. Loads and loads of carbs in rice, not proteins. Um, maybe there is a particular type of rice that I've never encountered before that has lots of protein, but rice is not a protein food. Now I'll tell you that now. Rice is all carbs. You know, and you might see some diets that suggest carbs are bad. I don't think carbs are bad. I think you just want to have a bit of a balance between the three. If you're trying to lose weight, though, some people respond to, you know, low-carb diets. Some people respond to low-fat diets. It's it's all give and take and, and trying things out. Where is my crafting bench? I just went over here, didn't I, to use one over here. See, we're avoiding, we're avoiding doing this the other way now because we might crash the game again. There we go. I'm trying to gain weight, says Cheesy Head. If you're trying to gain weight, obviously people say eat more food, but just make sure you eat good, good healthy food. Don't don't try and gain weight on junk food, otherwise you're just gonna, you know, put a load of unhealthy fat in your body. You you want to have some good nutrition going on, you know. I bruised my knee snowboarding. Now I can't do my PE class. KM runs nearly as fast as before. Cat Dragon, take your time with recovery. That is the that is the advice right there. Um, always, it's always a thing. Like when you get injured, you need to take time to recover. I know it sucks. I know it can be very tempting to get back in there and keep at it, but uh, recovery time is important. You know, very important. All right, what are we doing now? We've got our supply of gas tears. This means we can go pick up some mobs. Um, I also need the toilet, and you need an eye break. So it's time to look away from the screen while I pop to the loo. And when we come back, we're going to go on an adventure gab grabbing some mobs from around the Minecraft world. I'll be right back in a second, peeps. You God in chat says, stairs harder. No! No, that's not what I want you to do. Please blink. Blink. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I mean, this area is starting to look crazy cool. But we're going to take a break from our little adventures over here. And we are going to go and capture some mobs now that we can make a bunch. Right. I'm going to put that back in my backpack, that one. Okay, that goes in there, and the rest of it... Oh, that goes in there as well. The rest of it is aesthetics, believe it or not. Oh, and... Hmm, do I want to run a farm while we're away? Probably not. we still got, like, we've got so much work to do with this project. I'm thinking about levelling up the cleaver, but... Probably not the time for it. That actually goes in storage. And this one here goes in there. So, backpack. Be that, that, this. Might as well put those two in there as well. 
keep a nice clean inventory and then we need to make some of these mob imprisonment tools and you know we can go and capture as many as we like <laughs> oh maybe not we might be limited we might yeah look we're out of plastic hey we've got to come back to this project over here again so now we need to make a sink great great the rabbit hole never ends the rabbit hole has many branches doesn't it many many branches right so we need that bucket of water is the key thing we got a noise in the ear from segmentia here for fifth oh geez press the buttons make the things happen excuse me 55 months in a row jeez uh by the way can i get a confirmation is my voice right now back to normal because i can then leave the settings there and do things like this and then turn it off again okay so did that work did what i did it did it echo echo like is that am i getting it right oh please tell me that i'm getting it right it works oh thank you very much cool cool that is f***ing amazing right there okay what <laughs> oh I'm such a goon such a goof <laughs> X, you're a weirdo, says Reptilian. Thanks. I'm definitely a weirdo. I'm, I'm literally not arguing with you. There is no argument over here. Okay, uh, place that there. Oh, no! <laughs> we should have done this earlier. That being said, this stuff's all filled up, so this thing can have a, a little go at it and get through some of that. So, yeah. X, don't in swear says bg monster x1 fan oh you made me do it again jeez i get why you should be vegetarian but i just can't live without kfc says denunt well you know of all of all the fast foods oh well, you know of all the foods fast food is dirty basically is all i can say to that i mean i can think of plenty of reasons not to eat a kfc there's this old story uh, that goes around here in the UK of like, uh, I think it was from like the 80s, there was, oh I've missed a step haven't I? I think it was like from back in the 80s there was a KFC that served up um, deep fried rat by mistake and like put a lot of people off it over here for a long time. <laughs> Leonide says it's like that one episode on Season one all over again. Oh that episode, jeez, don't remind me. Oh look, you see now we can literally make one more. That's really annoying that that's happened. But I guess I can leave it running while I'm away and then come back. So we can literally make about one more. Oh, that sucks. Well at least we know now it's gonna continue doing stuff. And this area is chunk loaded, which is good. Alright, so mob imprisonment tool. Bam, one more. So, what creatures would we benefit from getting the drops? I reckon something that drops leather. Also, is there a way to see the loot tables through JEI? Now, there might be like a mob drop here. Mob drops, yes, seven. Right, so zero to two, affected by looting. So these are just the vanilla mobs. Zero to two, affected by looting. I've got a feeling it's only going to show us... Oh, hello. One to zero. So it kind of looks like a cow is our best option. Unless I need antlers or cooked venison. You know? Also, let's make it daytime. Come on. KFC equals Corrales fried chicken. That was a season two thing, God Mode. That was a literal season two thing. Uh, we got... Layara, free, subscribe with Amazon Prime, and Skelly Dog, subscribe with Amazon Prime. Thank you so much for your uh, subscriptions, I appreciate it. Appreciate it so much. By the way, peeps, 666 viewers, where's Evil X? Hey, eh? where's Evil X? Um, <laughs> be sure to hit the follow button over here on Twitch, peeps. I got, I got follow botted the other day, 60, 70, 80,000 new followers, I was kind of disappointed i like that my number was like i guess accurate or organic um but then i had this crazy view botting thing now getting in touch with twitch and being like hey i've been view botted can you help me with that 
probably never going to happen, knowing what Twitch are like. So, uh, I don't know. I'm not very hopeful on getting it fixed, basically. X, get the Netherhound. Right, does the Netherhound drop leather? Or does it drop tanned leather? I don't know. This is the thing. I, this doesn't include... Actually, that's just, just enough resources. Is that... What on earth is that mob? No, it must just be a thing for this. Actually, what what are these metallic looking blocks? Crazy. Crazy. If you see a cow, shout cow in chat. <laughs> like, what do you drop? You look like a little kitten. Or are you a goat? When I was at the uh, museum the other day, they had some goats and rams and whatnot. And I tell you what, the goat horns are absolutely incredible. They had so many varieties of them. And they're absolutely beautiful. I can see why it gets used in like satanic imagery though. There is something like evil and menacing about it. But those those creatures that have those big horns that sort of point upwards and back. I was looking at them and thinking like, how does this work in combat? Because you'd kind of think in fighting, you want something that like projects out towards your opponent, right? Whereas these big spikes off the heads of some of these creatures, they're sort of behind their body, but they can swing their head to like smash them into other creatures around them. It's just an interesting way they evolved, really. Okay, um... Right, so we got that. We can put it into our system. We'll probably give this one brown. Maybe I should try and color code this a bit. Actually, no. Because then I'll get annoyed that, like, I've got one that's sort of color coded and another that's not. That'll definitely annoy me. So we're not going to color code. Let's go to the Never Next. Betty Bank Danny says plans for season seven question mark. Yeah, my plan is to sort of play uh, It's kind of funny actually because I've got you know, I've always got inspiration I've been looking at big shape builds again, and I'm like nope got to stick to the plan got to play organic Got to go into an area and like try and fill up the eye line with various things That's sort of my approach this time around Is that I want to fill the world with uh Fill, fill the area I'm in with things to look at as opposed to being inside of some weird big shapely structure like we did last time. So peeps, uh, what other creatures reside in the nether that may be of use to us? Like a magma slime could be a cool, actually just a regular overworld slime would be pretty good. We could have a magma slime as well, but what was it? Slime and blaze powder? We got loads of blaze powder. Are you the, yeah you're the foxhounds. We've done with a skelly. We've done blazes already, peeps. RIP Project Hexabee, says Wano. Yeah, that was my plan to do that for the end of Season 6. But hey, we never updated. I decided to take my break. My break went on longer than it needed to. So uh, never got around to finishing that off right. At least the build kind of looks clean and finished. Uh, Simply Ermine is here subscribing with Amazon Prime. Ermine, thank you ever so much for your subscription. I appreciate it. Hope you are enjoying the stream we're doing here today. Peeps, I think uh, I think there might not be much for us here. Now we can go to the deep dark dimension and also to the twilight forest. Those are places we can go and uh, potentially get some other mobs. Have you done the ghast, says Talismancer. I'm not even going to dignify that with an answer, Talismancer. You're trolling me. <laughs> Thanks for pronouncing it right, says Simply Ermine. I never pronounce anything right. Jeez, amazing. Oh, what do you drop, you know? Imp. Eh? So we've got two. We've got an imp and we've got a foxhound. Which is apparently a mob from Quark. Hmm. Which is for redstone. We've done that one. We've done that. That's how the power of our base works. Imp for hardened leather, says Nitron. Oh, okay. We had leather in here a moment ago. So hardened leather. We've got tanned imp leather. Oh, maybe that's what it's called. But we can't click on it. Oh, look at that. Hmm. We can't get to this screen for it. 
Right, well, we can get one more mob. I feel like getting one from the Twilight Forest, but maybe we should wait a little bit. Uh, so in order to set this up a little bit more, let's put in orange next. So we need our text tools. Let's make orange the cow. How many have we got on this side? Uh, seven, is that? Yes, yeah, seven on each. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't have default text, which is good. So I think we went with large. No, we didn't. Okay. We're going to go with orange and type cow. Not like that, though. Put it in the center. Beautiful. Orange is cow. Let's find orange over here. It's this one. In goes the cow. And now the system is ready to be worked. And this thing here is ready. Cows! <gasps> but wait a minute. That doesn't work. Oh, I think I know what's happening there. Okay, so let's fix this. I believe this makes sense because I had four wooden spikes in here and I thought four? I should have three in there. Okay. I guess these ones are going to have to be slain by me. Cows? I'm sorry. I've killed you with kindness at least. <clears throat> Let's try that again. Orange for cow. Killing chamber. Is it hitting them? It should hit them. Wow, this thing spawns so many so quick. We only need to press it to get a little bit. It's broken. Ah. Broken again. What? Okay. We need some of that manual in. Hey X, what was your biggest dirt from Season 6 as the Redstone Gamer? I have no idea. Molten Steel, please. There we go. Uh, where are we going to? This one over here? Okay, so this thing needs 1,000 odd attack points. And it's got a durability of like 200, I think. So it'll be a few repairs before we get there. I also find doing it manually instead of this thing doing it is better. Now, is this still spawning them? Because I could have swore I pressed that. Okay. I don't know what I saw then. Oh, they're just not able to fall into the hole, I guess. It's probably not particularly great. We still need something to pick up the items. But look at this. We're getting leather. We're getting pork chops. Raw beef, even. And this thing's getting absolutely wrecked. Durability is down to 75. Now I reckon... Oh, was it punching them? Was this thing attacking with nothing in there? I guess I guess it could for now. We could put a stick in there. Right? <laughs> Doesn't have to be on breaking. Wait. Let me, let me think about this. Let's give it a blaze rod, right? The other thing is going to bring them down to one hit. And it's still going to be attacking. I think it's attacking it. Yeah, look. So that'll work. Because this brings it down to one hit. Anyway, this is for beheading. So I guess we'll use this on our next adventure. When we put some more mob imprisonment tools together. Um, so that means we want to come over here. Grab all of that. Uh, we can use this over here. There it is. Put these things in here. Ah, what's it playing at? Okay, and then, yeah, make all of those. 46 of them. And that'll make us 10 more of the mob catchers. 10 more mob catchers. Put better spike there, X, says Darth Annihilus. There is no better spike. Wooden, wooden is the best one for the job, I believe. If I put in the diamond spike, it'll kill them. Which we don't want. Okay, there we go. We're getting some plastic back in the system. Plastic, plastic, plastic. Might as well just make a whole bunch of these for now. Well, that being said, we've got two in there over four. So we need ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Yeah, we actually don't need more than that because we've only got room for that many. For now. You know, later on though, we might end up... Uh, we might end up, you know, having some in reserve somewhere else. Okay. Whoa! Easy there, fella. Jeez, that guy wanted to go in our farm, I think. So, when we are in the caves, we found something in here that dropped wheat. I wonder if we can go at Twilight. Really? Hmm. Is it called Twilight Forest? Oh, people in chat are saying Kabolds. That's the name of the mob, right? Hang on, that'll, that'll help us. Kabold, that's what I'm looking for. The Twilight Forest. Ah. Right, here's all the mob eggs. Now, if I click on any... Ah, uh, it doesn't even show me. So, I can't figure out their drops from here. There's a lot of mobs from this area, though. And I don't know which ones are the best. So, we're going to get the kobolds. But, uh, what other ones do you think, peeps? Hey. Hey. Gotcha. Gotcha, literally. Literally got ya. Kobolds, there we go. So we know we want that one, and there's so many other creatures in here, and I don't know what they... Well, I guess I can find out, and I need to level up my sword. Hey! What do you drop? Raw venison. Don't think I'm going to need that. Although, if we're going to aim towards getting our plowman's lunch done, I don't think... Hmm. Well, we can get... Actually, the mob that drops wheat will get us bread. That's kind of cool. But, yeah. Not to get too distracted. X, the husk type things you found in a hut. Okay, so we'll look for a hut and grab a husk type thing. We found, we saw quite a few huts just by flying around. We got some, oh wait, that's more of the same. I actually need to use this sword as well. So while we're here, I need to do some slaying, right? Like, who are you? Just a regular old Minecraft wolf. Now you're dead. Cruel. I'm so cruel. I'm just leveling up my sword, dude. Just leveling up my sword. It's an excuse. That is a multicolored tree if ever I've seen one. That is a literal rainbow tree. <laughs> Crazy vines. More rainbow trees in this area. Forest Raven says Code Mountain. What does the Forest Raven jump? Uh, jump? What does it drop? Hey, there's a house. So there's a husk type thing apparently. That. Ah, not the husk. I know what you're on about. Yeah, let's grab it and see what it can drop later on. You're thinking of... Oh, the stray. That's it. The stray. Not the husk. The stray. Right, sorry fellas. Leveling up the old sword, didn't I? Leveling it up. It's very slowly though. Forest squirrel. What do you drop, forest squirrel? I must know. Nothing? Oh, that was so cruel. So very, very cruel. Big old structure over there, isn't there? Hey, maybe this biome might have something. Um, also, if we go down into those caves, there were loads of creatures down there. The question is, which way was the best way I went in? Well, that's actually the end of the dungeon, isn't it? Right there, where the marker is. And I can't see what way I went in. I just can't see. Wait, are these actually... Wait, that looks like it. Uh, I just picked up a bunch of junk. I didn't want any junk, but I got it. This thing has been conquered. Therefore, we can hop in. <laughs> right, let's fly around and see what we can find. I know that creepers spawn down here as well as other creatures. There were those squid, scorpion, slime things now that I think about it. Oh look, we come straight to this room. <laughs> Couldn't have been that easy the first time I came here though, could it? It would have never have been that easy. Oh my word. Minotaur says you god. Minotaur, if we find any. If we find any, you know. I hear a bat, that'll be a good one.
Uh, is there anything here now that I've conquered it? Did all the inhabitants go away? What's going on? Maybe it empties out after you conquer it. Because we're seeing literally nothing. Right, now we'll find something. A crab. Hermit crab. A literal hermit crab farm. I'll take it. And this one is also a hermit crab. So, at least we've got one more. Oh, apparently they're good for fighting, uh, for farming night metal, says Narian. Ah, okay. Make ourselves a night metal farm. Sounds like a form of metal. <laughs> it's like metal, but it's played at night. <laughs> oh, subgenres. <laughs> okay, we're really finding nothing else. Like, literally nothing else. Is it just going to be empty now that I've conquered it? Is that the idea? Hey, these bricks are really nice. I'm going to take some back. Oh, are there different types of it? Cracked under brick? Ah! <laughs> oh, that was just too good right there. That was impressive, is what that was. Okay, things that we don't want. Oh, actually, look at my health here. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Health's a bit low, isn't it? I ain't got any food with me. But I've got that. Yikes! That's that's scarily low. Scary lily. Lily. -li. Oh, well, that's why it's low, because I keep doing that. Right. No, no more of that. Do I have any food in my backpack? Oh, I'm so prepared, me. I think we might just head out of here for now. Why risk anything, right? Why risk it like a biscuit? Hello, chicken. You're going to go in my farm, believe it or not, because I want eggs. <laughs> of all the things, chicken. Is that another type of mob? No. Home is that way, peeps. If we see anything on the way, we'll check it out. But uh, I don't want to starve to death over here. You have extra food in your inventory, do I? Oh, well remembered, good sir. Well remembered. Oh, we can stay here a little bit longer then. Also, don't I have a backpack? Yeah, we figured this out. We figured this out. We can send things back now. Just like this. Cool. I mean, we were always able to do that, but that's the first time I've remembered. Okay, let's head towards potentially a different, like, area. Isn't this area over here where it's raised up? Didn't this have acid rain? Is the acid rain gone? Nope, the acid rain hasn't gone. So we've still got more stuff to do in Twilight, which I think we'll do. Even though it's kind of like definitely not fair game. Now that looks like a different biome over there, so I'm thinking different biome, different mobs maybe. Right, you're the same type as before. What do we got over here? Definitely a different biome. But I don't see any creepy crawlies or mobs hanging out down below. Oh, now I do. What's this? More deer. Oh dear, you're dead. Okay. I need to level up, peeps. I need to level up this sword. Jeez. Don't call me a meanie. I'm leveling up. <laughs> I'm leveling up on wild creatures that aren't attacking me, I know. How do you stop the acid rain, says Zodiac Siren. I believe you just have to progress further through the game. Oh, what's this over here? Mushrooms? Mushrooms and then another one of those. They're very common, the uh, boss areas in the Twilight Forest. They're very... They're well spread out. They're not, you know, they're not too often in eye shot of one another. But you explore, you'll find them frequently enough. I think if it were vanilla, they'd definitely be spread out a little bit further. And that's just the different styles, right? Also, it might make sense to start looping back round towards home. Uh, but there's another biome. Let's investigate. There's a well over here as well. 
Right, it's like a swamp. And what are these things? Tiny bird. What do you drop, tiny? Oh, so cute. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, I just need to kill you. Why are you being difficult? Did that actually drop anything? I don't think it did. Therefore, they get to live. Apart from that one. <laughs> uh, Beck loves pandas is here for 13 months. Say, morning X. Thanks for all the great streams over the last year. Looking forward to the next. Thank you so much, Bex loves panda. I appreciate your uh, your support right there. Hope you're enjoying the stream. This right here will have loads of ores under it, I believe. Wow, this is different. And I'm on fire. Okay, we're, we're going to leave. We're going to leave, all right? I'm sorry. Yeesh. Look, I'll get in the water and eat me raw chicken. Oh, now I feel sick. Yeah, that hill, though, that has loads of ores in it. Why am I on fire? I'm trying to get away. Oh, look at these big li lily pads. They're cool. There are chests at the bottom of wells, apparently. Let's go check them out, then. Did that? Oh, I can kind of break it with my sword easy. Let's eat the venison over here. Right, so there was a well just before we came into this biome. Somewhere, do I see it? Where do we fly in from? BMC says stop slaying the deers. But I need to level up. I need to level up. So apparently at the bottom of here, there's going to be a chest. This is a trap. Am I going to drown? There's no chest here. I'm just taking damage. Okay. Someone fooled me, I believe. Home is a long way away. Hello, Rams. What do you drop? Oh, you're actually like sheep. Hmm. Oh, and they do different colours as well. Bighorn sheep. Well, that's how I'm going to level up my sword. <laughs> Still a long way to go. Ah, you're caught in the tar pit. What are these? Wild boar? I think we'll pick up one of those. Now, what do they drop? Come here. Oi. Oi. I, d I don't know what. I think it dropped a pork chop. Yeah, it dropped a pork chop. And also tallow. So if tallow is good for anything, we can farm it. Okay. Mosey says, please answer my question. There are a lot of messages in chat. I don't get to read them all. What's Enigmaticus the Silver Wolf? It is a mob pack. And we are playing it. We're playing the second one. Come here, Raven. Wait a minute. Someone said I should get, grab one of those. To get those feathers, probably. That's right, Raven. You're getting captured. That might also be tricky to farm, peeps. Might be a tricky one to farm. Let's go ahead and sort out our backpack a little bit here again. Don't need this. Or that. Or that, or them, or those. Some of these. I guess all of that can go in there. And those. There we go. Cleaned out a bit more space. Also, let's put the ore machines back on the hotbar. X, how do you level it up? I really don't understand, says Nubeen. Um, you just attack things, right? Oh, did I just start a mob fight? Oh, silly me. Always starting fights with giant green snakes. What's my problem, eh? Leave those giant green snakes alone. Come here, you. Whoa. Don't actually try to kill me. That's just not cool. Man, 
Man, this thing's taking its time, isn't it? Look at those aqueducts. They look great. Well, aqueducts. I don't know what you call it. A drain. Right, sorry about that. Accidentally killed you, but also got some more loot and trophies. I'll, I'll take them. I'll take them. Get wrecked, dear. Sorry. Oh, dearie me. See, get it? It's a pun. That makes it okay, people. It's a pun. It's perfectly acceptable. Right, we're heading that direction. In the large hills, there are good farmable mobs as well, says Aterg. Oh, really? Well, we got reason to progress further, haven't we? And I guess next time we'll progress, we'll bring a bunch of imprisonment tools with us so we can capture them as we go. Because we're blatantly going to encounter more stuff if we're actually just playing properly, you know. Right, you're a regular skeleton. We've got squirrels. Right, let's kick your butt. Okay, and this thing's slowly leveling up. The wild boars were a good kill. Just one hit kill. That's right, fight each other. But not me. Cool, I'm just slaughtering the innocents today, aren't I? I'm just running around. Off of your head. <laughs> That's the point. This thing's got beheading, but we're not getting it from every mob. Ah, oh, the birds are too cute to kill. That has to be said. Okay, we probably need our little backpack pouch thing again. And in you go. See, we got uh, we got a head from the skeleton because the beheading worked. Right, and now we fly over here. Oh, we never went to the thing in the middle. Yeah, we haven't been here yet. No, we have. Oh, right, that was the last one we did. Yeah. So I wonder if there's like a whole underground area down there with stuff in it we haven't seen. Looks like it might be so. Let's check it out. Oh, is that where like things got killed and fell on the roof? <laughs> it's very dark down here, isn't it? Dark and gloomy. Wild boar. And you, that's about it. Sword durability is low, says Chris. Yes, that means it's getting leveled up. Wait, how is he flying? Isn't flying supposed to be disabled, says Cuplex. Someone else in chat told us that was supposed to be so, but it doesn't appear to be for me. Which I don't mind, because I wasn't really here to play the Twilight Forest. I just, we needed one mob from it, and it took us a while to get it. It took us a long, long while to get it. Oh, are you on Mars? Says it's that one guy. It looked a bit like Mars back there, didn't it? Just a little bit like it. Okay, so back at this place. Uh, what was the most interesting mob, eh? That we need to check out. I am going to grab a chest. Just a single one, that's all we need. Okay, chuck that down over here. And put in all of these. Cool. Um, so what one do we want to do first? Quark hounds. The kobold will give us wheat. Wild boar. I think we'll do the wheat one first. So that's kobold. Right. Uh, we're going to put that one in white. Actually, no, we'll put it in purple. Kobold goes in purple. And it is spelt Kobold. Kind of like it sounds. So over here, we can then go to the third one. Give it the purple color. Put it on the center. Kobold. And there you go. If I want some Kobolds down here, I press that button. Emman says X. I don't mean to be rude, but your face looks ghastly. I mean, it literally looks ghastly, doesn't it? Okay. Yep, that'll repair it. And I really need to level that up myself. What's the best way? I guess I know what to do. In fact, we'll do it right now. Let's take care of this, okay? I'm going to press the purple button. 
But then I'm going to do something wild and unexpected. X, you're a rebel. What are you doing? I'm going to kill him like this. Right here. I'm going to stand right here and kill him and wreck him. Get wrecked, you lot. Actually, this might not be good because they're going down to one health. Which is slow. We need Actually, I need to kill them before they're in there. Ow! Like you look like little cute and cuddly fluffy bear things you do. But you're not. You're mean. Right, now will that stop them going in? Excellent. Because then I can kill them. Oh, the sound is unbearable, X. What have you done? It's a noise machine in here. Oi. Right, there we go. Oh, that thing's still got a blaze rod in, doesn't it? So it's still going to actually kill the ones that are down in that area. Interesting. And now we're getting a boatload of wheat from these. Should install a mob crusher. Can recycle the essence, says Nitron. Well, we wanted the kill them with the cleaver, right? Could put in multiple ways of killing them, I guess. Okay, we are getting closer and closer. We just need 300 now. 300 and a bit. Probably going to take one more repair to get there. Will you try environmental tech mods, says Frag? Once we've wrapped up a few more of our projects, which we're getting close to doing, we'll probably like build a new plan. Right. And it broke. So let's turn it off. And then go... And repair it again. Apparently we're being raided by Wells Knight. Can we get a confirmation in chat? Oh yeah, there you go. There's a noise in my ear. There's a literal noise in my ear. Wells Knight, thank you ever so much for the raid, dude. Appreciate it. How is it going? I know you're burned out on modded. I'm, I'm having an opposite right now. I'm getting well into this modded Minecraft stuff. Building up my uh, crazy factory over here with all sorts of shenanigans going on. Trying to level up a sword at the moment. Oh, we're very close to being leveled up. That's terrific. All right. These three might be enough. Or four. How many are here? I'm pretty sure... There you go. Right, we've leveled up. Very good. Ow, don't hit me. That's rude. Welcome all the raiders. Wells, what were you playing today? I know it wasn't Minecraft. Okay, we got to go and do this thing now. Now it will be unbreakable and we can leave it there and it will have beheading on every mob we encounter. So when we need heads, we can uh, we can get them nice and easy. Nice. Right. That is beautiful. And we got a noise in the ear. It's Zodiac Siren gifting the sub to Wells Knight. Thank you ever so much, Zodiac, for, uh, for gifting the sub. Very kind of you to do that and thank you again. Wells for the raid. Now got a subscription, isn't that cool? I'm thinking here it might make sense to have uh, a window that looks down into this area so that this floor can connect to it. That might be the way to finally figure out what we're doing with this little space, right? We've got a slab. Uh, we need some glass. Don't know what type of glass to go with here. So we'll chisel some probably. And then we need our sheet metal. Which I think was lead. I think it's lead in front of us. Actually, no, it's steel, isn't it? Steel sheet metal. We only got a little bit of this. So we've got to make it count. Yeah, so if this floor comes forward by one more block. And then we have a window here. Yeah, that's going to look good. Now let's grab our chisel. See, I'm distracted again. Oh, it's 4.30 a.m. Jeez, Wells. <laughs> I'll be close to when I'll be waking up. Um, thank you so much for the raid, dude. Appreciate it. Stone framed. Let's try that one. Looks all right, doesn't it? Okay, now if we just look at how the last one came together. Yeah, I just need to look at the space, really. Let's do that. Oh, wrong material. Let's get the right material up in here, please. I think we're going to have to make some. 
Uh, steel sheet metal. I should just finish typing it, shouldn't I? The glass in chisel is the best part of the mod, says Casual Pig. I I reckon in vanilla, if there was one thing you could take from chisel, glass would be a good shout because glass is very limited in in vanilla, isn't it? You do have colourful glass, but it's all sort of the same texture. Free. Is that all you're giving me? Free. Thanks. Jeez. Look, we've got all of this over here now. Oh, and then it continues. Oh, maybe it was still in the process of doing that. Anyway. Anyway. That can go in there. Any hoozle. These can go up there. Uh, now we need to make the sheet metal. Like a so. Beautiful. I got a lot of it that time, though. Glass slabs would be amazing, says that guy. Uh, I don't know about glass slabs. I, don't, I wouldn't see those being too useful. Okay, so we're going to have that there. I think we're going to embrace the gap. Oh, I think I also want to put a lighting block up here, you know. Uh, this is where I think I might do things a little differently. Might make that too wide. Actually, I'm just going to leave it open, but I reckon we should put, like, glowstone lamps up here. Something glowstony. Yeah, just this stuff. So there's like a bit of a light source shining down on the area below. Okay, so we've got a cool little viewing balcony. Now, I believe from the other side, this will probably end up looking pretty cool as well. Yeah, the lighting works a charm there, doesn't it? I had a feeling that might kind of look good. Almost looks like there might be a boss's office up there. Wow, and the sheet metal looks really good as a wall block, doesn't it? Oh, I'm pleased with how that's turned out. That's nice. So then on this side, you know, we know what this space is going to be. It's just going to be a bit of space for now, which is fine. I don't know what the fate of the rest of it will be, but at least it looks a little bit cleaner. Very cool. Also, we don't need that thing anymore. And now that looks silly. There we go. <coughs> right, we need two of those blocks as conduits. Is another job to be done. And now I'm getting shot. See you later, buddy. You're wrecked. You're wrecked. I wonder how many ghast tears we got now. Pyro Burnie him says, oh, hey, I'm very late. You're very, very late indeed. Now, you can turn up anytime you want to watch. There's no such thing as late. And Firefox Panda says, got to go. See you later. Thanks for tuning in, dude. Hope you enjoyed your time here. We also got a noise in the ear from Fizzy Free. Resubscribe for four months, saying excited to be back for the fourth month. Heard the news that season six finity of Hermitcraft is coming to an end, but here's my question. This season went on for nearly two years. For season seven, would you want it to go on for as long? Cut it off earlier or even longer? I think I'd like to play it by ear. Would be uh be my thing. Play it by ear. See see what happens. I mean... Yeah, you never know what's going to be, like, in front of you going in into a season, right? I think season six, though, we kind of knew it would be a long one. Just had a feeling. This time around, I'm not really sure. Like, it's more of a, like, wait and see where it goes. But, you know, Hermitcraft seasons are at least, like, a year, year and a half most of the time, right? It's that machine there. There we go. TX says Talisman, sir. No T here. I had a hot bov reel, but it's been finished. Okay, there we go. Let's go put those in place. See, this corridor almost doesn't lead anywhere now. I'm going to have to remember that, that I can't just zip through there and fly out. What? <laughs> what was that? Just swapped it over, did it? Jeez. Right, there we go. Beautiful. Uh, I'd like to work on this area. I feel like it's time for some aesthetics. I know we've got more technical stuff to do, but this project feels like it never ends. So uh, let's do some aesthetics around here. Let's move it along. Also, we've got noises in the air. We've got Riot Alexis here for two months saying, here's to the best music and the best voice on Twitch. Thank you ever so much. I appreciate that. Very kind of you to say so. Listen to the crinkles. I'm assuming you're a fan. <laughs> it's not too much of an assumption to make, is it? Yeesh. 
Thank you ever so much, dude. Appreciate it. We also got Dark Wolf 22 doing cheers for own bits, saying, "Have you made plans for season seven yet, or are you still making them?" Um, I, I'm going into it with a much more organic approach. My my plan is to find an area. I mean, I've got little like project ideas and bits and bobs, but I don't have a, like an overall mastermind plan or anything like that. The general idea is for me to play with a different play style than normal. I want to do some organic building. Um, you know, I, I kind of want to live and craft my area out in the open as opposed to building some big planned out type thing. I don't know. You'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean when the season starts to unfold. Okay, I think... I think what we're going to do is have this go around in a circle so it'll go down there. Although it's not really a circle, is it? It's just a, just it's just going around is what it's doing. That's literally all it's doing. Right, uh, then we need to bring this all down. So, one, two, three... Oh, uh, uh, one, two, three, and now we need some more stairs. Which probably means using the last of these in here. Yes, there we go. You get eight of them. I like that. I like that. Can you place them upside down, like in vanilla? Of course you can. Why would I even have to ask that? So there you go. I think that's pretty pretty cool. That is not cool though. Get out of here, scamp. Jeez, creepers in my area. No thanks. It doesn't line up with that over there, which I'm going to leave. I'm going to let that be. That's that's fine. I don't mind. Right, Alexis says that's one cool hat head thing you got there. It is, isn't it? It's amazing. Beautiful. I like it. I love it. Okay, we need more scaffolding then, by the looks of it. We need more scaffolding. Guardrails above the stairs. Definitely. Definitely need those guardrails. Health and safety will not be happy. Is that it? Is that all I get? That's all I get, apparently. Let's make us some more. Bam. Right. Guardrails. We got them think. Wait, basalt, factory block, steel, sheet metal. That's my one. Steel, sheet metal, and that one's cut from basalt. So we need some more from steel, sheet metal again. So I think we usually actually have this on the close side. Yeah, I'm going to stick to that. We're going to do it that way, right? Whoopsie doopsie, you're in the wrong spot. Okay, now there, I think we'll go with that. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we'll go that way around. There's a lot of this stuff in the area. It's starting to build up. Which is why it's been kind of left open in, in some spots as well. Okay, so we're going to close it up there. Everything looking very clean and swish so far, right? So I don't know what we're going to do with this space in the corner, but we could definitely fit a project in over here. So there'll probably be something going in this direction. So I'm not going to mess around with that. Uh, but so far, so good. I think that looks terrific. Now, the question is, what are we going to do up the top here? There's the question. You need a bit of depth with some shapes and stuff. And there's two ways of looking at this. You see things from down here. And then you see things from up here, but less often. This takes less of a priority, but I think we should consider both. Um, I reckon there's like a two-tone thing going on here. Was there just an arrow? <laughs> Could have swore I just saw an arrow in front of me. There's like a two-tone thing going on here. I mean, maybe if we put something like this in the area. Give it a bit of a three-tone feel. Or are we overdoing it? Actually, that actually feels kind of good. That actually feels kind of good. And that covers it up. And it brings it all the way over to the wall. 
Yes, it does. Do you know what we never did? We upgraded this sword and then we just left it alone. So uh, if I put that in here now, it should be able to behead. Other... Look at you. Fancy golden, golden boots, golden leggings. Nope, you're wrecked. You're wrecked. Will Concord return in Season 7? Will Evil X be joining the Vex Gang? Says Shirazu. Who knows? Who knows? I personally like to leave little things like that. Not that I've really done any apart from Log Feathers. Like in the season. where So I don't think Cub and Scar feel the same way. So you'll probably see it carry over would be my guess. Now which one of these? I think someone said the Imp might be a good one to farm. Let's try the Imp. Okay we're going to put Imp in next. We're going to put Imp on the red one. So up we go. Ah, we need access to this little area. Maybe that's what happens from here, right? What if we make this have a little step down somewhere? Maybe actually right there. Yeah, let's do a little bit of breaking blocks. That one and that one. So yeah, what if you like step down? This thing needs a roof. Step down into this little area from up here, you know, and then you can access all of the chests. <laughs> Could be a good idea for the future. I also want to rethink the outside here. We should we should look at getting some new textures to build the outside area, but um, let's not get too distracted right now. We were supposed to put it in the red one, right? And then I got distracted. Okay, in you go. Imp. We also got the Hermit Crab. Oh yeah, that was going to be a good one. Let's do both of those now. So, Imp is red. Hermit Crab can be lime. Is it me or all of the colours on that side on the top? Hermit Crab, lime. Imp is red. So, going into our screen. The fourth one. We're going to make it red. Imp. This one, lime. Hermit crab. Hermit crab, hermit crab, hermit crab, hermit crab. Oh, I did it wrong. Oh, no. Oh, no, I've ruined everything. Oh, it's fixed. Okay, never mind. Let's see how the hermit crab responds to this little thing we've got going on down here. Right, so it's getting this stuff called armor shard. And the uses of that is to create an armor shard cluster, which you can then turn into night metal ingot. Ah, oh, okay. Then you can make a block of night metal. Wow. We gotta collect some more stuff from this mod, it's cool. Okay, it looks like it is hitting them, but they're all going down to one hit to begin with. Okay, so hermit crab, there's lime. Oh, we, doesn't really matter. Imp is next. In comes the imp. And this one is going to drop some stuff for us, right? What are you going to drop? I think it's going to take a while to kill it. Hmm. Let's see. What, let's investigate here. Put some speed upgrades on the mechanical user, says Blackjack. Uh, we actually need to slow it down because the recharge time here means it does less damage. But. Maybe it doesn't work that way, because we do bring them down to one here, and we only want to use it for the beheading. And actually, yeah, maybe it works out better doing it the other way around, right? Okay, so we'll make uh, a few of those. Or four. Wait, how many upgrades can you put in this thing? Is that it? Just that. Right, and it feels like it's not even attacking it. It's unbreakable, so it should continue to attack. Well, they're essentially all one-hit kill, and they're not being attacked. I'm guessing the hitbox means that the sword isn't hitting them, but... Hmm. Maybe we need to put the mechanical user one block lower, then. Right, so from this thing, I can see that we get raw imp hide and imp lever. I thought I saw something... Yeah, I saw something green. It was that stuff. I thought it might be like another one of those, those armor shards. 
Right, so our mechanical user, it probably does make sense if it's always one block lower. Then it can hit every type of mob in there. So let's move it down. Okay. Dude, this squid is like right in the way. Yeah, I had a feeling it would be like that. Let's break this one as well. Put that here, put this there. Actually, that'll end up being a dark glass. Oh, that block's still there. That shouldn't be there. This will end up being a dark glass block so we can look into the farm nice and easy. Let's actually do that now if we can. We got no dark glass, unfortunately. How do we make it? How do we make the dark glass, peeps? Oh, look at us. Aren't we lucky? Okay, put a few things up there. Put this here. In goes those upgrades. Or not. Did it just crash? Oh, my game just crashed. Wow. Not seen it do that before. Huh. It crashed hard as well. It just crashed. Yeesh. That's not good. Well... We are at the two hour mark, so I'm probably just going to have to wrap it up right there. Mechanical users tend to do that, says Alex. First time I've seen it do that. That's a shame. Anyway, massive thank you to everyone for tuning in today. Be sure to hit the follow button before you head out of here. And uh, let's go look for a channel to raid. I'm going to pick someone from the Minecraft community with not a lot of viewers. Scrolling down, scrolling down. Um, let's see. This name sounds familiar to me, but uh, we're going to go raid this person. Maybe we've raided them before. Midnight Nate, just picking out a random channel and supporting someone in the Minecraft community. So, that is it from me. Massive thank you to everyone for coming by, and I'll see you all soon. Take care.